the different styles of zippers. There are four. You have the metal, you have the coil, you have the plastic molded, and you have the invisible. For bag making, we usually only use the two first, metal and coil. But I will explain all four. Metal zippers have metal teeth that are clamped onto the zipper tape. This makes them incredibly durable. They are perfect for duffel bags and leather projects. While you might like the statement the metal teeth make in your bags, be careful of the weight. They are far heavier than their nylon, polyester and plastic counterparts. And another thing to consider, it's highly possible that your slider doesn't move as smoothly up and down the teeth, especially when compared to the coil. There is a solution though, a graphite, that's the black thing inside a pencil or a piece of hand soap or a candle. And another thing, you cannot sew over the metal teeth. You'll need special tools to remove the teeth if your zipper happens to be too long. Coil zippers are a popular lightweight zipper. The teeth are made of coiled nylon or polyester that is either stitched or woven into the tape. The way it is constructed makes it very flexible. The texture of the teeth is a lot more subtle than the plastic or metal zipper teeth as well, which may make it a good choice for bags and pockets where you don't want your zipper standing out. You can easily shorten them by just cutting with scissors. And you can sew over the teeth. Molded plastic zippers have the teeth molded and melted directly onto the zipper tape. This construction uses a very cheap material which usually make them the most cost-effective option. The shape of the teeth makes them a bit stiffer than the coil zippers. Molded plastic zippers are great for tote style bags and more. You cannot sew over the teeth. Invisible zippers are a little different than the others. The teeth of an invisible zipper are on the back side of the zipper. This means that once it is sewn into your project, the zipper itself should not be visible from the right side. These are commonly used in formal wear and many styles of dresses. Since we usually only use metal and coil in bag making, that are the two versions I'll talk about in this course.